We wanted to really engage people with the reality and uh, the, the loss of life uh, that has taken place on this fifth anniversary of the war. Uh, the exhibit itself doesn't really take a stance. Uh, I think it's important that we get in close and we actually are confronted with, with the lives that have been lost. Another senseless war, right? Uh, so where you walk through to actually see uh, the, the soldiers boots, you're also forced to walk uh, amongst the civilian shoes as well. Well, it's true because it's not just the Americans who are it's both dying, it's kids the, too. Yeah, the victims and all of that too. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's Arab. Oh, these are well, maybe, these are, these are maybe casualties from the war there in the country? Insane. These were real people. Uh, who would be alive if this war hadn't taken place? Uh, my personal look at it is, you know, if you do support the war, uh, this exhibit forces you to really confront uh, the cost of the war and to really make a strong decision that you either own this war or that you realize that you need to stand up against it. And, you know, it's up to you to decide that. I've been against the war for a while now, back just since it started. There's a lot of hidden things that you don't read about, that you don't actually see. You know, they're not going to go and post this on like news and stuff like that. You're not going to see how many people are actually dying. That's not something that the president or anybody really wants everybody to see. The saddest part is like you see like the little civilian shoes of like nine-year-old kids who died in Iraq, stuff like that. Like that's just kind of like. They're nine months old. They never got to live. They never got to see anything except basically death, which is depressing. So we all need to take this fifth anniversary to really think about uh, where we stand on this war and to do something about it.